Hi, I'm Heather. I am a nutritionist and I'm a GAPS practitioner. And today I want to talk about animal fats and why you should be using them in the kitchen and how to render them. There's a few really easy ways to render them. So why should you be using animal fat? Well, essentially these are God made fats. They are made um, naturally from animals. There's no crazy extraction needed. You know, vegetable oils are disgusting. They're extracted terribly. They're bleached, they're deodorized, all these nasty processes they have to go through just to make them look palatable and not smell terrible because really they're extremely toxic. Um, where animal fats are naturally occurring, you know, you have a steak, you just end up with fat in the end. Um, and they're saturated, meaning they are stable at room temperature, they're solid at room temperature, and they're perfect for the human composition. They're full of fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin K2, vitamin E, and most people are severely lacking in these fat soluble vitamin, vitamins and they contribute to everything. Um, I don't really need to go into it, but like eye health, hormones, um, digestive health, absolutely everything these fat soluble vitamins are necessary for. Our skeleton, our teeth, our bones. Um, so if you haven't started eating them, you really need to get on that. And I'm just gonna talk about how, basically how to render these animal foods, um, these animal fats. So the first way you can do it is if you make meat stock or bone broth, you will see when you, you pour it into your containers and you put it in the fridge, there will be a nice little layer of fat on the top. If you do chicken stock, it will probably just be a little bit, but if you do more like beef or lamb or duck or goose, there's gonna be a thick layer of that fat on top and it solidifies. So one thing you can do is, I don't personally love having a big gulp of fat when I'm drinking meat stock. I just, it grosses me out, I don't like it. So what I do is I put them in the refrigerator and then when I take them out, I just scoop that fat layer on top off and put it in a jar. Um, and then I just keep that jar in the fridge. I'll do like a bunch of that fat scraped off in a jar and then I just cook with it or if I make veggies in the oven or saute it, saute anything, I just use that instead of coconut oil or olive oil or something. So that's really easy. It takes seriously zero effort. It's basically getting a free cooking fat um, because it's just a byproduct. The second way is actually rendering it traditionally. So that would be where you, um, you can get it at a butcher. You get like a big bag of basically fat trimmings and you can get them from ducks or chicken or um, beef tallow and they're just like little pieces of fat and you're going to put them in a pot or an instant pot and bring it to a simmer and you let it simmer from I don't even know an hour just until everything is melted basically you'll see um, the impurities kind of go to the bottom similar to making ghee and then that fat is just kind of cooking and melted on the bottom on the top and then you're going to strain it through like a coffee filter or a cheesecloth into some jars and I do that about once a year. I'll do a huge batch because it's not something I enjoy doing. It's a kind of a big process. I mean, it's really easy, but it's just time consuming. But about once a year, I'll do that. And then I'll get like six jars of this because I don't want to do it all the time. And that's really cheap. You get a bag of these um, fat trimmings and it's like a couple dollars. So I'm getting all these jars of good quality beef tallow or lard or whatever you want to make duck fat um, for really cheap. And it stays in the fridge indefinitely or in the pantry. It doesn't go bad where if you kind of pull it off the bone broth or the meat stock the first way, it can go bad a little quicker because usually there's a bit of that um, meat stock on the bottom. Still really good, still really easy. And then the third way to render fat is if you were to cook an animal. Let's say you cook a goose or a duck or um, pork, what are they called? Um, lamb shoulder or something like, some big cut of meat. Then at the end, you end up with that thick amount. Let's say you slow cook it in the oven for four hours. And then when you take it out in your pot, there's gonna be a thick layer of fat. And the same thing you do with rendering it in a big pot over a few hours is you're just gonna strain it through that coffee filter or the cheesecloth into jars. And that is probably the easiest way because you're making dinner anyway, you're making food, and then you just end up saving the fat and you're not really having to go out of your way to do anything. You just don't throw it away basically, you just filter it. So those are the three ways to easily render animal fats. And it's just a great economic way. You don't have to buy them. You just make them at home. Um, it's really thrifty. They're great for you. You're getting all these fat soluble vitamins. They're safe to cook with. They're not gonna oxidize at a high temperature like olive oil or some of the vegetable oils will. And um, yeah, too easy. The best 
One of the best foods for you are these good animal fats. And if you can, do a variety. Maybe, you know, over a couple months, one month you make beef tallow, the next you do duck fat. And then so you have a few different jars, you can get a variety because they all do have slightly different nutrition profiles. So I hope that's helpful. I would love to know if you make your own lard or duck fat or any other beef tallow things and what you love to cook with. This isn't a GAPS food, but I absolutely love potatoes cooked in the oven in beef tallow. It is like so good with salt and pepper. It's like makes the best French fries. Um, I've done that both pregnancies. I've actually done deep fried duck fat potato chips because I'm craving it that much and I'm insane. I only do it when I'm pregnant, um, but it's delicious and it, you know it's not even bad for you because it's not cooked in those nasty oils. So I hope this is helpful. And like I said, I'd love to know if you do this or if you have another easy way. Um, I'm sure the Instant Pot would be perfect for this because it, you can just slow cook it. Um, yeah, but I'd love to hear what you think. So have a great day and feel free to like or comment or share if you found this easy or helpful. Hi, thanks for watching my video. You can feel free to comment or like below or you can follow me on Instagram or on my website.